This guy traded in his Indian Challenger for a Lowrider ST. Is he crazy? I'm not crazy. It's just not a Harley. Like, why are you gonna go from the Challenger or Rogue Glide to a soft tail? Because it doesn't have that. They have. The, so yeah. they had. So I have. A, there's a. That you. Um. You had. You. You know. I feel like the Indian guys are gonna come after you now. They are gonna come after me. <laughs> and you know what? The, the Lowrider to me is just the, the epitome of, of Harley, man. It's just. To me, it's my favorite bike. It's just Welcome back to the video, guys. We got some huge news coming out from the Marvel King Garage. First of all, Baggers and BS is in the building, my boy Rich. And what I feel like I keep saying this like every other week Rich got a new bike. Every week you get a new bike, dude. It's one of those things, guys. I just, you know, I just can't stop. I can't stop. His brand new 2024 Harley Davidson Lowrider ST. Absolutely beautiful. Obviously, I'm a fan. You, you guys know I'm going to be a fan right away. But b before we even dive into that, congratulations, first of all. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm very, very Appreciate excited for you. you. Um, what I want to talk about today is First of all, why would you trade a bagger for a lowrider C? And, and and this conversation I feel is gonna kind of like get into a lot of people's nerves. It, it's, it's, it's gonna piss some people off, man. 100%. But if you get pissed off, whatever. Just drop your thoughts and your comments down below. I'm really eager to know what you're what you guys are gonna say. Cause me, I traded in my Rogue Glide for my lowrider SC. This guy traded in his Indian Challenger for a Lowrider ST. It was all done up. So, and, yeah, done up. So you, you, didn't just, you didn't even just trade in your bagger for the Lowrider ST. You went from a different company, from the op. The op. From the op to Harley. Honestly, so my friend Chris got the Lowrider ST, and I was—I thought it was a cool bike. Loved it. Um, I rode it once. I was like, eh, you know, around the block. It wasn't set up the way I liked it. Come to go for a ride with Junior the other day, and your bars were perfectly set up for me. I rode it around the lot. I was like, oh, I'm like wow, this feels <laughs> so different. And Junior, and I quote, says, "Wow, I thought it was going to be too small for you, but yeah. it wasn't." He's like, "You look good on it." Cause really? Rich is a big dude, man. <laughs> uh, how much do you weigh? 295, 290. A big dude, man. It's my security, by the way. So anybody out there who's running their mouth, it's my security. <laughs> now, nah, Rich is a big dude. So I'm, I'm from the beginning. I was like, yo, dude, you're gonna look huge on there. Cause pr prior to you getting on it, you were like, yo, I kind of want a low rider ass. Yes. Yes. And I'm like, really? And I'm like, another bike is that y'all gotta try it. I'm a trader bagger, and I'm like, all right. Well, uh, but anyways, fast forward, I was like, dude, you, get, you might look kind of... I'm thinking to myself, this guy's going to look like a, like a, Godzilla. Like Godzilla on there, man. <laughs> you know? And um, he got on it, and he, he it did too well, dude. Yeah. It really did. I was shocked. At, just a shock. So. Well, we'll show you guys in a few minutes. We'll have him sit on his own bike and, and, and see the difference. And then I'll sit on it so you guys can kind of get a, a, a view of what both body styles are kind of look like on it. But yeah, keep going. I'm sorry. So no, it, it, I mean, listen. The Indian is a great bike. It's a fantastic bike. It's an awesome machine. I upgraded it. I did what I wanted to it so that it would fit me the way I wanted it to, so that I have a performance bagger. Um, but Harley is. I mean, Indian is just not a Harley. That's. I mean, it's cut and dry. It's that simple. Now I'm not taking a shot at Indian by any means because I think they make no, a I fantastic mean, you, product. You you purchased a product. You you bought it. Like you you obviously yeah. were a fan of that bike. Right, and it's not my first one. I've had other Indians. Right, in the right, past. right, right. So, that being said, I am a fan of Indian. Um, but it's just not Harley. It's it's really. Let, let me ask you something, because that that's very big, and I thought you were gonna leave that for the end of the video. But when when you say <sighs> it's just not a Harley, what what do you mean by that? It just doesn't have the same sound. It just doesn't have the same look. It just doesn't have the same feel. It doesn't have the culture. That's the bottom line. I mean, we've had this, we've discussed we've this on other videos. Indian doesn't have the culture that Harley obviously no. has. I mean, listen, you might say, hey, the Indian's fantastic. It's better bike than it's that. It's a great bike. Than, than the Harley, let's say, out of the box, right? Okay, yeah. it's, it's a great bike, 100%, I agree. 
It's a better bike than the Harley out of the box. But for me, part of the fun is customizing the bike to make it your own. Whether it's the orange little rollers on your crash bar, or you know the specific headlight or marker lights you want to put on, or the shorty pipe, or the full, whatever you decide to do, there's five companies for every, or ten companies for everything you want to do on a Harley. Okay? Where Indian has one or two companies, you know, and to be quite honest with you, if it wasn't for Forever Rad, I probably wouldn't have discovered most of that stuff, most of that stuff from Barnstormers and the stuff that he makes, and which is what made And, and then your bike kind of would have been stuck. Correct. Yeah. And it would have just been another Indian. Um, yes, there are some doodads here, but it's they're all going to have the same doodads. Where you go and see Harleys, there's you could have 10 of the same Harleys there, and they all have way different stuff and like stand out. You'd be like, wow, that looks sick. You're not, you're not like, wow, that one looks exactly like that one. No, they're, they're all different. There's just so many different aftermarket companies out there. And then everybody is like, yeah, but there's like 10 different companies that make crash bars. Right. 10 or 12 different companies that make... Marker lights. Marker bars, lights or... You know, whatever. Calipers or, whatever. or Exhaust. Fenders. Like, how many exhaust. companies make different oh, exhausts? Forget it. I was looking yeah. at exhaust for this this morning. I was like... You can't make up your mind. Yeah. It it's just so many. Yep. 100%. Which is cool, you know. You have there's a lot of options out there, and, right. and that's why so many different. You 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 can have 20, 30 of these bikes lined up. They're all going to be a little different. One hundred percent. They're going to have different parts on them. It, and that is what makes this fun. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. That is what makes you stand out amongst the crowd. That even if they are all Harleys. Yeah. Um, and that was a big thing for me. The other thing I think we discussed this was the tuning. Yeah. There's no tuning for that twenty twenty three. It's been. I think I got that in the end of 2022 or right before 23, and I think I've had it for about a year now or whatever it was, or a little over a year, and there's no tuning. You know, they keep saying it's coming, but nothing's come. That to me was a turnoff, and forget about EPA regulations and all that stuff. Uh, you know, I know that stuff is kind of one of those discussion points that's been going on lately, but Harley always has something within a few months, less, usually less than a year, they have something, even if it's mild tuning, it's going to be EPA compliant. It's still there. Wait, so, so, all right, so Harley has like their own Screaming Eagle stuff. Correct. So that alone. So wait, my, my question was going to be, Indian doesn't have that. They have, their, so Did they it? have, so I have, a, there's a cartoon, card, card, not cartoon, card tune. From I, Indian. From Indian that I, that they downloaded into the bike and it made it run better. But the reality of it is, is but, that but it's, it's not an actual tune. No, it's not like an actual you, you, tune you, 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 where you could put it on the dyno. You like can put it on the dyno and play around with it. Right, you can't, I don't think you can control the air-fuel ratios and you can't really right. push the limits. So, that to me is an issue. Um, like, if I do all these things for more clearance and make the more bike lighter, more performance, but then I can't push the bike past what any other Indian can push, right? What yeah. is the point? You know, yeah, I could do, I, I can't even do a big board kit on it because they don't have the tuning for it. So, you know, the only remedy was to get a 22 computer and I wasn't going to do that. Interesting. You know, so again, not knocking Indian, I'm just giving my point of view and my disappointment with it. You know, maybe if I would have bought a 22, I would have been happier. I don't know, but that's yeah. not the way it worked out. So let me ask you something. Why, why it's so small a bike then? Small, I, I think well, that, that's what everybody wants to know. It's like, why are you going to go from the Challenger or Roguelide to a soft tail? So number one, I like the Monoshock. That whole thing for me is huge. Is. That's huge. I, I always tell people the stock suspension, the only bike that the stock suspension is really good on is on the low rider S and low rider ST. Right. Like it, it's great. Right. It's you great. Don't, you really, I, I'm not saying you can't upgrade. Obviously you can, they have tons of upgrades, but I don't think it's something you have to, where you, you're itching to upgrade it right you, away. You don't have to. Correct. It's pretty comfortable. You, and you can adjust it for performance. Listen, if you start getting to that point where you're pushing the bike, then obviously you upgrade. Yeah. But um, one, the performance, because it's lighter, faster, and once I saw that I fit on it good, and, it, and I, I already knew, like, hey, I rode it, I did kind of like it the first time, but I wasn't crazy about it, maybe, cause I didn't think the handlebar setup would make that much of a difference, and that's stock handlebars, so yeah. imagine, you know, for me, I was like, once I sat on yours and it was comfortable, yeah. I was like, wow, dude, sky's the limit. Because yeah. um, those stock bars, you can kind of roll them up a bit forward, or bring them down, I, I kind of roll them up in a certain position where it's really comfortable for me. And it fit you know? perfect for me, yeah, yeah. ironically enough, yeah. considering that we have such a size gap. Yeah. Um, but that was it, and I was like, you know what? This is the bike. It's, 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 it's still a bagger, but it's that club style that is still going to yield performance. 
And guess what? They're going to have a tune in a few months, maybe, for the 24s. I don't know. But either way... It's a sports horn bike, man. Yeah, and the fact yeah. that it's so much lighter, yeah. I can still rip it. And uh, you're going to be right on par with certain bikes that are canned. You got the fairing for your protection that you had in your uh, Ro Challenger Ro or Ro Roadlet, whatever bike you were compared yeah. to. Not as big, but it still makes a huge difference. The bags, the saddlebags in the back, which, once again, you can also take off whenever you want and have a different look of a bike. 100%. Which is awesome. Absolutely. You know? It's yeah. a it's a cool bike. It's super customizable. It's, uh, I mean, to me, this, this is my favorite bike. And it was different. I've, I've said it for years. I mean, you guys know, like, I had a 2020 Lowrider S, and it just, the Lowrider to me is just the, the epitome of the Harley, man. It's just... To me, it's my favorite bike. It's just badass. Yeah. Bottom line. And like I said, this, I think, was a big step forward for Harley. Just in general. The ST. Yeah, the ST. Yeah, 100%. Big time. But it's, it's, it's got everything that I want in my Challenger and more. And it's That's lighter. That's a lot to say, man. Lighter and more nimble. Yeah, it That's is. That's a lot to say. It is. And coming to Wait, wait, me? He, he's hitting. It has everything that my Challenger had and more. So it has speed, handling, performance, comfort, you know. Okay, you're, maybe your, your feet are a little bit more mid-control, but you got plenty of guys putting mid-controls on baggers anyway. Yeah. You know, regardless, that, you know. I feel like the Indian guys are going to come after you now. They are going to come after me. <laughs> and you know what? That's okay. You know, at the end of the day, I don't have any hate or disdain for Indian. It's not that. It's just not a Harley. That's it. And, again, I'm not saying I would never buy another Indian. But as of right now, if I can't tune it, you know, that's a, that's an issue for me. Well, the bike looks great. Um, color, real quick. Well, why don't you choose the uh, billiard gray? Well, somebody bought tobacco, so I couldn't, you know, tobacco fade. Somebody else who had the, it. Who the hell? <laughs> oh, I did. <laughs> so, you know, one of my other boys has a black one. Yeah. Justin ordered a white one. So I was like, you know what? I got to get something different. And I, we looked at the red. What was it? The Red Rock? rock. Red rock? Yeah. On the way in the other day. Although I liked it, it just didn't do it for me. But the billiard. The billiard grill is really good. And it's the thing is that it's so subtle. And you can do so much with it. Um, even, you know, if you want to add a pop of color to, you know, make it your own. You want to add some gold, blue, red, orange, <laughs> green, bronze. Like, whatever color you want to go with as a secondary option to, you know, make it pop here and there. It's great because it's such a subtle color and it's going to go with whatever. We're already speaking about some stuff where we're going to keep it to a low because we got some ideas, you know? And uh, I, I, I can't Excited. wait to see this bike all done up, man. I really can't. I, I really feel like this color is underestimated. It is. You well, know. here's the thing. When it came out and I, I I said it, I'm like, when I first saw it on the standard, I'm like, ugh, <laughs> why? Like, why, you know? But then, because the standard doesn't, doesn't have that much body to see the paint. So when you see this this paint on a Lowrider ST where it has a big fairing and big bags or on a, on a Rogue Glide Street Glide, it's like, wow, the color really is expanded and you could really appreciate it. Especially in really person. Nice. Especially in person. It looks nicer in person too. Yeah. Really, really I feel nice. the same about the tobacco fade. These certain colors, you don't get it until you see it in person. The videos, the pictures. That tobacco fade, through. man. In pictures, it looks great. In, in person? Fantastic. Amazing. <sighs> How anybody even says it's ugly or, or listen, you may not like There it. were two people in the comments when I first got the yeah. bike out of like the thousand comments that I got. Yeah. Two people that were like, oh, I don't like that. I feel like it was oh, I can't get it. Well, it's ugly. <laughs> it might have been that. <laughs> but it, it's such a beautiful color, man. It's uh, it really you, is. It, you really gotta see it in person, man. And the sunlight when it hits it, bro, it changes it completely. Which yeah. we saw the other day, but I think we're out riding, man. It was like crazy. I was like, wow. Anyways, um, yeah, man, this guy changed his Indian Challenger for a Lowrider ST. Is he crazy? I'm not crazy. It's just not a Harley. It's good. Well, well, we'll leave it with that, man. Anyways, drop your thoughts in your comments down below. Congrats to my boy right here real quick. Don't forget this guy also has a 2024 Roll Glide CVO ST. More to come with that. And I've been then, slacking on the channel, but I'm going to be doing And what else you have? Uh, road glide standard that's down at get lower. Also 2024. 20, yeah. So two road glides and now uh, a baby road glide. A baby bro. <laughs> that's, we got baby road glides here. So it'll be it guys. Like always at the force with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride baby. Peace.
That was good, man. It was. That was real good. Bro, it's like my two CV, my two standards had a fucking.